shepherding is being delayed. Now it has started. So first I'll ask if you have any question regarding last lectures. Then we'll start the uh, your topic of your syllabus perturbation theory from today. So let me know if you have any queries, question regarding the problem I, I was discussing in last class uh, from Arshankar book. Uh, please uh, see the answer given in the end of the book. So if your answer matches, then no need to discuss with me. But if you have difficulty in uh, getting those answers, then uh, contact me. Okay. Some people send the answer, but uh, see, I cannot read many things on the mobile, particularly the PDF files. Uh, so that is why I am uh, suggesting that. But good that some of you are at least doing the problems. Okay. Now let me know if you have any question. Otherwise, we'll start perturbation theory. Sir, basis wala part samaj mein nahi aa raha hai. Kal jo aap question thi the pichle term mein, hmm. sir, LZ basis pe kar raha tha, LX pe apply. So kaise kare sir, wo apply nahi kar paa raha hai. Nahi, LZ diagonal basis. See, suppose that is your angular momentum. Then, then uh, in angular momentum, you know that uh, your SX and SY don't commute, right? So that means you cannot measure them simultaneously. So in any angular momentum uh, system, what you can do, you can measure your uh, total angular momentum, say S, and uh, or let me write L, uh, L square and L Z, one of the component. Not uh, you always write one Z, so the L Z. So that doesn't mean that this has to be LZ. We are assuming that total angular momentum is measured and one of the component. And which component we always assume and in the book people always assume in the LZ. So this means that your quantized axis is LZ and whatever analysis that L and M angular momentum state you write, it is in the LZ basis. If you assume that your angular momentum uh, quantized axis is along S, uh, L, X, then it will be uh, your uh, L, uh, LX basis. Okay, so that is the basis means you are assumed that mat matrix will be diagonalized. Other two matrix are not, that, that was the case for LX, LY, they are non-diagonal, but LZ are diagonal. And not only that, if you have a basis in the angular momentum, in their eigenvectors can be chosen as 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. Because any diagonal matrix, you can choose eigenvalues. Suppose you have a 3 cross 3 diagonal matrix, the eigenvectors are always like this. Or any n cross n, you can have uh, n column matrix with first element 1, second element 1, other 0, and kind of. So that is the basis means then you can have a diagonal matrix and diagonal matrix means you can have eigenvectors in this way. Okay. Any other question? No, sir. Okay. Okay. Good. So, uh, but today's attendance is poor. I don't know why. Only 38. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So, uh, let us start with the perturbation theory. So, what is the motivation? Uh, motivation is that uh, only only few quantum mechanical system you can solve. You can solve exactly. So quantum mechanics is a new um, subject and you want to solve all the problems like in the classical mechanics, you can solve infinitely many problems in classical mechanics. But in quantum mechanics, you can solve box uh, exactly. This is, of course, important. Box problem you can solve. You can solve barrier problem. You can solve uh, harmonic oscillator problem. You can solve hydrogen atom problem. But if you go on listing or what kind of potential, uh, what kind of potential you can solve, then you find only a finite, only a few. It is very less number of potential you can find 
the solution of the Schrodinger equation and you can solve the exact energy levels and exact eigenfunction. Solution, solution means, solution means uh, energy eigenvalues and eigenfunction. This you can obtain only for specific number of solution. Exactly, exactly. And, but <clears throat> then for other problems, what we'll do? We have to do some approximate methods. So this gives the motivation for approximate methods. That means a method by which you can find an approximate solution. It may not be exact uh, eigenvalues, exact eigenfunction, but approximately close to the exact values. So approximate uh, methods. For example, a hydrogen atom ground state you can find exactly, but next atom is helium atom. And helium atom ground state energy you cannot find exactly. You learn in your uh, nuclear physics course or atomic physics, uh, nuclear physics course, that uh, that how to find the uh, um, uh, um, helium atom solve helium atom problem or deuterium problem. Uh, you cannot find exactly the solution, so you need an approximate method. And perturbation method is one of the <coughs> approximate method. There are many approximate method. In this class, you learn variational method. You learn other teacher will be taught you the blue KB method and perturbation method. These three approximate method you will learn. So uh, perturbation method uh, uh, is a big chapter actually. So we'll now focus uh, maybe next one month on this perturbation uh, theory. So idea is that. <coughs> Uh, idea is that suppose I know a Hamiltonian uh, H0 which can be solved exactly. So exactly that means I can find its energy, uh, um, energy eigenvalues in its level and the wave function at the in its level. But for the time being now, uh, okay, uh, let me first tell you this, what is the perturbation, then I'll tell you that some notation. So whenever I put a zero in the wave function, it denotes that it is that this part is exactly solvable, this H0, solution correspond to H0. Okay, then uh, um, uh, Suppose now I have a system which is not exactly H0, but some, some uh, different from H0, but this difference is small, not very large difference, weak difference. So this is almost H0, but there is lambda is a parameter we put, also called coupling. Coupling means coupling to H0, which is very, very small. Only when, if it is very, very small, then perturbation method So when lambda is small, then perturbation method can give you solutions. That solution. Okay. How this will be given that that energy eigenvalues for the complete Hamiltonian, when I write En, it is correspond to H. When I write En0, it correspond to the H0. Can be written in terms of uh, this lambda in a series of lambda. I'll, I'll um, uh, derive everything. Uh, and so on, infinite series in lambda, and now see lambda is small, so I can terminate here, and I can get a very good result, because lambda is small, lambda square is further small, lambda q will be further small, okay, so these are, will, contribution will be small, and you can get a first order correction, this is called first order correction, so you will get a good result, and the wave function, wave function 
also will be in terms of in a series of lambda you can write. So, this is the if I can write then then this is called the perturbation. So, uh, we are going to show, uh, show you how we can or going to uh, show you how to calculate these quantities in using perturbation method. So, the idea is clear. I have a system whose part, first part is solved exactly. Then the remaining part has to be very small. If the remaining part is very small, this is called perturbative term. This is, this is called perturbative term. If the perturbative term is small, that, that makes sure by lambda. So, then it will be, uh, uh, it can be solved in this manner. Like, phone Okay, so this um, this method is called perturbation method, and and uh, um, uh, now I'm going to show you how one can calculate uh, things in. Uh, um, uh, using this technique. But for that, I will use some convention of convention to denote, uh, denote the state vectors, the wave functions. Okay. So, you all familiar with the um, uh, harmonic oscillator uh, in harmonic, uh, in, in case of harmonic oscillator, you are familiar that wave functions are denoted by the number operators, uh, number eigenvalues this kind of, this is called Fox space notation in, in terms of uh, bracket notation. So, we will now write, con because we have to write uh, bigger equation, so we will confine to this notation. So, your psi n will be denoted by this gate. And if you have psi n 0, it will be denoted by n 0. Okay. If you have psi n 1, it can be denoted by psi uh, n 1 or prime, whatever. I, I think it is 1, it is 1, not prime, okay. 1 corresponding, this is called first order correction, first to the energy eigenvalues, this is called first order correction to the wave function, this is called second order correction to the energy eigenvalues, this is called the second order correction to the wave function. So, our aim is to find how to find these corrections. So, first today we will learn the technique and then uh, we will consider some example. So, if today we can uh, um, find the solution, at least how to find this technique, then it will be easier for me for consider examples next class. Okay. So, let us start with the Hamiltonian which all I already wrote h0 plus lambda h prime. This is prime and this is the my perturb Hamiltonian. How to calculate this, how to, uh, for example, for example, if I, uh, I have a harmonic oscillator, you all know harmonic oscillator uh, Hamiltonian half uh, k x square. Then I said there is a small coefficient times x. So, this can be uh, considered as a perturbation, so like h prime. Okay, so this is my notation, and then uh, h zero is uh, has a solution. So h zero uh, n zero is uh, n zero n zero. Okay. Ha. If you have any question, just tell me. So uh, lambda is a complex or a real? Uh, mm, right now, uh, I have not mentioned anything, but uh, how it bothers you? It also coefficient, uh, if I am going to any, if I am going to apply in any field, then uh, no. maybe I, what I, I 
No. What I am going to say, lambda is real here. But right now, whatever I told you, nowhere it matters if it is even imaginary. But right now, for your class, lambda is real. Let us consider lambda is real. Okay, sir. Yeah, but, uh, but uh, in principle, I can, um, with the imaginary also, I can have a formulation. Sir, why lambda needs to be small? Huh? Why not lambda needs to be small? Yeah, then, uh, okay, so uh, if it is not small, then you cannot do by perturbation method. Then, then you can, if, if suppose, uh, suppose uh, my target to obtain a solution of this kind. So then the later term will be more contribution. So it will be a diverging series kind of thing. So I cannot terminate the uh, series in finite numbers. If lambda is not more small, then lambda um, to the power 10 will be much more higher. So higher contribution you will be neglecting. So in that okay, way, sir. Uh, okay, sir. so my point is perturbation will be valid or you can find a solution of this only when you have a small addition to the normal Hamiltonian, which can be solved. Only don't. You, you, you can ask that if it is not small, then uh, what will do? Then other method you have to follow. Perturbation method will fail. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So this is the solution and this is a complete solution. So N0, so N0, M0, they will follow the um, orthonormality properties. They will also follow the N0 uh, normalized uh, completeness relation, sum over all N should be one, okay? So this is the familiar properties, orthonormality, and this is, uh, um, uh, uh, completeness okay so this please remember uh, uh, those things uh, it will be used uh, very frequently and we are assuming now we are assuming that solution exists in this form so let me write uh, e n equal to e n 0 that means without lambda term without this term plus the first order correction term um, first order correction term uh, sorry e n 1 second order correction term L2 E N2 plus dot 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 will be only interested in first order and second order. And the wave function, this is the wave function corresponding to HN. That means HN, we are assuming that we'll have a solution of N. Okay. So this solution of this equation in first order or in the order by order, you can write. So first we'll have N0 that unperturbed, then lambda times uh, first order correction, then lambda square times second order correction plus dot dot dot. Okay. This is, we are assuming this kind of solution because that I argue that if lambda is small, we can always have a, this kind of solution. I'll, I'll consider to, if you have doubt, even uh, taking this, uh, we can discuss uh, for, uh, with some uh, concrete examples that then it will be clear. Okay, so what we'll do now, we'll substitute this in this equation. So let me, let me write some equation number one, two, this is maybe three, these are four, uh, this five, this is six. Mm -hmm. So we'll be using this five and six, five and six in uh, two. So what will happen? Uh, um, and also one uh, in two and one also, five, six, one, because so eight zero plus lambda, h prime h i wrote then i'll wrote a, i'll write n n0 plus lambda n1 plus lambda square n2 so this is my left hand side of 2 then right hand side 
E n will write E n 0 plus E n 1 lambda times plus lambda square times E n 2 and then you have that n n 0 plus lambda n 1 plus lambda square n 2 ok. So, what I did this 5 and 6 I use in the 2 uh, question. Now, from this equation compare compare uh, this is a equation. So, this equation will be valid in every order of lambda. So, compare the coefficient coefficient of different order of lambda. So, if you compare the coefficient of different order of lambda, then what you will get? Okay. For example, left hand side, if I multiply so, lambda to the power, suppose uh, let me use different pen, uh, lambda to the power 0 coefficient in the left hand side. What are the h0, n0, there is no lambda and all other term has lambda, right. If you multiply, there will be 6 term, 3 terms, 2 terms, 6 term, h0, this has no lambda, this is. So, lambda to the power h0, n0 and right hand side this is lambda free term e n 0 and this is lambda free term. So, you will have e n 0 n 0. So, but this equation is not known, uh, is not new to us. This is equation 3. Okay. So, so this is, this, this is equation 3. Let me write again. Lambda to the power 1 now. Now, lambda to the power 1. From where it will come? It will come from this term and this term. So, let me write h prime n 0 ok this term and this term this term and this term this has no lambda this is one lambda so lambda one term will come from here and that is uh, plus h 0 n 1 no no other lambda uh, single lambda lambda to the power one term because this term with this term will be lambda square this term with this term will be lambda q this term with this term will be lambda square okay so no other term but right hand side right hand side this term with the lambda dependent term so e n 0 n 1 so this is no lambda this is one lambda this is one lambda this is no lambda so this will be e n 1 of Okay, because we will call it second order correction also. So, let us write lambda to the power 2. Lambda to the power 2 terms in the right hand side when h 0 in the this term, this term is no lambda, this is lambda square. So, h 0 to n 2 terms, then this is lambda term, this is lambda term. So, this can be lambda square term. So, h prime n 1 ok. That is all in the uh, left hand side ok. h 1 n 1 uh, h prime n 1 and h 0 n 2 ok. And in the right hand side in the right hand side we will have see right hand side lambda square terms. So, this term with this term first term is lambda independent. So, that term with the third term in the is n 2 ok good. Then uh, no other term from n 0. This term is lambda, this term is lambda. So, that will give you So, that will give you um, E n 1 with uh, E n 1 with n 1, ok. And then this term, there will be another term, lambda square will be E n 2 times n 0, 
okay three terms will be there okay everybody gets this equation so no problem so this is let me write uh, how many equation i have wrote six so seven this is seven this is eight Okay, first equation uh, we already have that that is by assumption that we had the solution of this. Second equation uh, we'll start with because second equation. Keep in mind what we have to find. We have to find E n one. That means first order correction to the energy correction to the nth level. We have to find n one first order correction to the nth state. Okay, and also we'll find that E n two second order uh, uh, second order correction to the energy level. Yes, sir. In last equation, plus is missing in last term. Ah, huh? huh. ha. Plus, uh, yeah, yeah. Of course, you are right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so these three quantities we are supposed to calculate from these equations. Remember, what are the quantities? E n one is n first order correction to the nth level. This is the first uh, nth energy eigenvalues. First order correction to the nth eigenfunction. This is first second order correction to nth energy eigenvalues. Second order correction to the wave function. It will be also can be calculated. But those are very lengthy, and we don't need. Mostly, these three, if you can calculate, then you are through in this calculation. Okay. Here we will assume one thing for further calculation, which I have could have said earlier, that that energy levels are uh, for a zero, the energy uh, energy levels are non-degenerate. non degenerate that means one state will have one one energy level the um, one energy level uh, will have one eigen function okay this, this uh, of course uh, degenerate case of course will deal separately so you need a little bit different formulation for when you have degenerate uh, solutions. So we are assuming that the solution of a zero, these ends are non-degenerate. You all know the meaning of degeneracy. If you have the one eigenvalues corresponding to two eigenfunction, three eigenfunction, four eigenfunction, um, then it's called degenerate levels. Eigenfunction, uh, okay. So one, um, uh, you, you all know those who have studied hydrogen atom, n equal to nth level is n square degenerate, right? Uh, yeah, n, n, n square degenerate. That means n equal to two has four wave function, four wave function which has the energy uh, thirteen point six by four, right? Energy is basically one over n thirteen point six by minus minus uh, in hydrogen atom. Just for example, those who know hydrogen atom. So this is the meaning of degeneracy. Okay, I I, I think it is clear. Okay, so so we'll assume that there is no degeneracy. And now let us consider the middle equation. That equation seven. That seven equation equation seven, and we'll do that. We'll multiply this equation. Multiply this equation uh, from uh, uh, by n zero. So consider equation. Mul so multiply. Oh, oh, where? So multiply equation seven by n zero. Okay, from left. This this means will or multiply or take a inner product. Better language is that inner product with n zero. So first equation, uh, first line will be uh, n zero h prime n zero. Okay, 
second uh, term will be n0 h0 n1 and the right hand side will be this is a constant so e n0 n0 n1 plus e n1 n0 n0 how you know by which multiplication will take because remember we have to calculate n e n1 first order correction term so uh, that is why i take inner product such that this term will be n0 n0 is 1 this is that properties here i wrote this where n and m are equal then this will be 1 right so this this is the equation so they are orthonormal so this term is nothing but your e n1 that we are trying to calculate okay so that is why how to remember which term with inner product this this term will have to be uh, one, n0 n0 so it will be one this term is not zero the student do mistake because they they this is this is for belongs to h0 this is the correction so they are they don't form orthonormal set so this is don't say that they are orthonormal so they will be zero okay so that, that is not correct many students write that okay there is zero and get correct answer but uh, okay this is wrong but what about this term this term h is a hermitian operator right now it is in the ket space but it can act on the brass space also because it is a hermitian operator hermitian operator when changes from brass space to ket space will have so this can act on h0 can act on n0 and this term will give you n0 n0 n1 now look at this term and this term they are exactly same so this term will cancel with this term so we have remaining with e n prime is nothing but n0 the h prime n0 that's all so you get a first result the first order correction to energy eigenvalues, first order correction to the energy eigenvalues is nothing but the expectation value of that Hamiltonian with that end state, in the unperturbed state. N0 is the unperturbed state. N0 is the state of H0. So I know that N0. So I take just expectation value. So I'll get the first order correction. So three quantities we are supposed to find. This, this, and this. We found one quantities. Okay, very good. So uh, uh, let us, we have time, 20 minutes or more. So let us try to find one more quantity for say uh, wave function, correction to the first order wave function. Then later we'll find the second order uh, thing. Okay, so for that we'll again start with the, we again start with the, uh, uh, Again, we'll start uh, with uh, the equation six, uh, seven, equation seven, this equation. This equation, but we'll collect the N0 state in the left side and the N1 state on the right side. Okay. So let us consider equation seven again, but, but, uh, okay. So, uh, left hand side i collect n0 state so n0 state so h prime uh, h prime minus e n1 so h prime minus e n prime acting on n0 state okay so i bring this last term in the equation 7 to the left side because that is n0 this is also n0 and i take the n1 term from the left to the right so it will be n0 e n0 minus let me see what is that h prime okay <clears throat> okay say let us write this is now uh, 7 8 now this is say 
uh, what is how many equations? Seven, eight. Now this is nine. This equation is nine. This equation say ten. Okay. Okay. But in one state, we are going to calculate first order correction to the eigenstate, nth eigenstate that we are going to correct, uh, calculate. Okay. Now I will be using one important concept which I was discussing in last three, four lectures that whenever you have a state which is not an eigenstate can be, can be written in terms of superposition of uh, the orthonormal basis. See, N0 form a orthonormal basis. So, this state can be written as C, let me write N, M, M0. So, M can be uh, sum over M, all possible values. It can be infinite, 1, 2, infinite, right? So, any, this is that, that I argue that anything, any, any finite quantity, you can always write in terms of orthonormal basis. That is the idea of Fourier transformation. That is that I discuss also in the quantum mechanics that how you can write. So, this, this M, M or M0, this Mth eigenstate, this complete set, this, this forms a complete set. So, if it is a complete set, I can write my N1, which is supposed to calculate in terms of this. Now, let us put this. So, this equation 11 use in the equation 10. Okay. So, let us uh, do that. So, what will happen? H1 minus En. I am going very slow. Actually, uh, you are beginning. So, th that is why, but uh, you, you should not... Uh, mm, uh, okay, uh, but I, I have to go faster uh, after some times. Times now I am writing the sum over n, c n m. This this is some coefficient numbers times m. Uh, sorry, this will be m m zero. But now consider when m equal to n. Just a just a special case. This is an infinite series. It may be a finite series also, but in general, it can be infinite series, sum over infinite quantity. Because number of how many numbers of uh, these uh, states for your uh, the H0 system, depending on that, you can have. But now consider a special case, m equal to n, and the right hand side. So, so I'll take just only one term where m corresponding to n. So, e n 0 minus just let me see. I, I did a mistake, no? Sir, at 0 over right hand side. Yes. Ha, ha, that e n 0 minus uh, exactly. So, that is why I stuck here. See, I did a mistake. See, in the right hand side, right hand side, I had uh, this this H0 has taken to that side, right? So, right hand side, I will have H0, H0 here. Yeah, H0. So, now simplify this for n equal to m. Can you, can you call uh, somebody? Huh. It was disturbance. So, this n equal to m case, so I will have this term is constant, so c n n, I am writing n n times m 0, a 0 acting on this uh, n, n equal to m, so m equal to n, so this is n, this is n, I'm sorry, uh, n, n, okay, and then second term h0 acting on n0, h0 acting on n0 will give you c n n e n0 times n0. So this and this get cancelled, see exactly same term. So when n equal to m, 
the right hand side is zero contribution is zero from this infinite series so in this is a infinite series but one term is zero which term is zero when m sum over m m equal to n so this equation equation this uh, nine or ten equation i can write now h prime e n one n zero equal to e n zero minus h zero sum over m but this m is not equal to n c n m this point is very important m equal to n contribution is zero so i am just dropping that contribution from here because zero is very dangerous thing no zero zero can when you divide by zero then you will lead to lot of uh, wrong results dividing okay. by can you explain again uh, why n equal to m for zero yeah i have calculated everything you just put in this series n equal to m so the term this series will give you c n n n zero when m equal to n i'll get this term now this term when h zero acts will give you u n zero so these two term will be same h zero okay. acting on this will give you a e n zero because h zero acting on n zero will give you n zero c n n and this term is same as this term e n zero c n n so that will cancel so n equal to m term is zero so i am just removing that term from this series okay this is important very important later i'll explain why this was important uh, most of the book don't explain this so so you have to very careful when you do the calculation yourself okay now what we'll do that uh, we'll uh, uh, putting in 11 okay so now now uh, we have uh, this equation okay so uh, h prime e n prime n zero equal to is fine okay this is fine now 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 i can calculate this right hand side okay so let me write remember what we are going to calculate we are going to calculate n prime state this state we are going to calculate remember uh, and I, I have to um, 10 minutes or so i'm shortage of time let me uh, n prime n zero will be now this can act on this so let me write e n zero and when this act on this what you'll get we know you are uh, you were confused with that can you tell that when h zero acts on this state m zero state what you'll get now now no response m0 will give you em0 yes. so this you yes, get ha huh, em0 times sum m not equal to n and then c n m m0 right This you will get EM0 uh, times CM0. Now, every, thang, every, every, every left hand side and right hand side is in terms of the eigenfunction of the H0 state. So, now I can take a inner product, say I take a inner product with L0 and taking that L not equal to L not equal to N. So I'm taking an inner product that is multiplying, sandwiching, taking inner product from left side, uh, from the left. But remember, I am choosing such a L which is not equal to N. Okay. So what will happen in the left side? The left hand side will be L0 H prime E N1 N0. 
okay equal to this side e n 0 minus e m 0 and now sum over m not equal to n c n m l 0 m 0 Oh, 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 I did a mistake somewhere. Oh. Now, just a moment. H prime and prime. Hmm. No, it's fine. No, no mistake. How? Huh. Let, let me, let me quickly finish, then I'll uh, listen to your answer. So, this I can simplify L0 H1 n0 minus e n1 l0 n0 remember i have considered l not equal to n so what happened to this term anybody zero zero, zero. zero mm -hmm. because of ortho because l are n are different so because of orthogonality that is why i emphasize that taking l not equal to n okay and this side you will have E and see what we have to find. We have to find the C coefficient. Once we find the C coefficient, we can find this N1 state. This is our aim to find. Okay. So C11 coefficient we are trying to find. So E N0 minus E M0 times sum over C M N and this is delta L M. Because, right, this is delta LM, orthogonality. Okay, good. So, this is 0. So, you have L0, H prime, N0. And then you have this side, you have delta N0 minus delta M should be L, L0, and C, N, L. Only one coefficient, one term will survive. Which term will survive? That term which uh, L equal to M because of this. So, C and L we can find equal to this will be divided by this L0 H prime N0 L0 N prime H prime divided by this uh, E n 0 minus e l 0 okay so c n l we found and and for our convenience uh, in in uh, no, no need of convenience okay fine this is exactly fine okay so now you substitute your n in n prime n prime was let me go back just i'll show you n prime where where ha uh, this c a sum over m c n m m zero so that equation i'll substitute c n m so sum over m which not equal to n then uh ha huh. So, when I write, uh, when I write C N M, now we have to write C N M. So, it will be, um, it will be some C, C N M I have to write. So, it will be M 0 H N 0. So, L should be by M. N 0 minus M0. So, this is our target 2. Second, uh, the, this is the correction of the wave function. First order correction to the wave function we obtained. Sir, there and is now, also a k at n0. Huh? There, uh, there uh, uh, of, course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Of course. 
there, there is a ket m0 otherwise this is a number this is not a ket no you are right i'm doing so this is the first order correction. So two important formula for perturbation theory, non-degenerate case, we found first order correction to the energy level, first order correction to the wave function. And, and in next class, uh, Saturday's class, we'll consider the second order correction and also we'll consider few examples to understand this. Uh, we have few minutes time. Huh? Somebody was asking some question. If you have question, just tell me. <clears throat> now, now uh, see, look at this denominator. En is minus em, but we already eliminated that in m m cannot be n. Some m m cannot be n. That term was eliminated with this argument, right? But now, if that was not eliminated, then it could have been zero and something by zero could have been anything, right? So undefined quantity, but this is now well-defined quantity because n not equal to m. So this is the first order correction to energy eigenvalues. So now if you have understood this, now let us uh, try to find, suppose I have a harmonic oscillator, H0 is my harmonic oscillator. H0 is P square by 2m plus half m omega square x square, right? And my new Hamiltonian, which is a zero plus say x, only x. Or, or some coefficient say, uh, forget about uh, any thing and, and uh, mm, yeah, better to write a coefficient lambda, lambda x where lambda is uh, very, very small. Okay. Now, what will be the, um, now, now you know H0 is your simple harmonic oscillator. So, you know the solution, they are n and also in terms of wave function, you know the solution. So, these solutions are known. Now, find E n one and n one wave function. So try to solve this problem yourself. This first part is very straightforward. Let me so first equation where where the first E n is the n zero h prime. So this so these are n zero as solution. So this is n zero h prime n zero the first. And second order, second one is this. So first one, what will be the answer? Anybody has any argument? Sir, zero. Why? Sir, x is or matlab odd function. So um, simple the integration of the odd function ho jayega. Uh, sorry, x is odd function. Then then mm, what nee, is? No, no, sir. Jo n zero hai, wo ek even function hai. So x, x multi n0 is even function and uh, x is, x is when, odd, func odd function. When multiply x is odd function, then when you integrate, then it becomes 0. Okay. So, uh, what uh, he suggested is that if you write in terms of integration, it will be psi 0 star and uh, no, but how you know that n0 is a uh, even function? It is not even function. Psi n zero star. This is an nth wave function. The answer is correct, but your argument is not correct. In physics, you will not get un marks for your answer only. Uh, multiple choice is different, but uh, argument has to be correct also. So this, if I write in terms of integration, this will be psi n. 0, 0 means the h0, star psi n0 and then x. This is the expectation x value minus infinity to plus infinity. Now, harmonic oscillator that psi n0 minus x, if I x going to minus x, it will be minus 1 to the power n of psi n of x. That means 0, then n equal to 2, 4, 6, all are even function or 
n equal five they are odd function but whatever it is n uh, the wave function is even or odd there are two wave function so product will be always one wave function is even then product of two wave function is even one wave function is odd both the wave function is odd then product is again even so this will be completely a odd function because of the x x is odd parity odd under parity x going to minus x so x going to minus x this is odd function so this integration will be zero so first order energy correction by this perturbation will be zero now now you try to calculate this in prime and we'll discuss in next class so i'll stop unless you have some quick question So for this unit, we will follow R Shankar book only. Uh, no, this uh, perturbation, uh, yeah, every book is there, but exactly this notation and calculation, I'll tell you which book uh, I followed. Uh, I, I forgot the which book, but uh, exact notation. But similar treatment you get in Griffith, similar treatment you get in, in the R Shankar also. You can you can read. Uh, 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 no, but you can read from any of these books and, and but I'll okay. tell you into in next class that uh, which book uh, exactly we followed this but try to follow okay. this calculation this is this is the derivation is simple and everything I have done anybody has any doubt I'll uh, clear it in next class but please do yourself whole calculation do yourself otherwise you will not able to learn anybody okay, else has sir. any huh? Anybody else has any other question? And try to convince your friends who are not attending class to attend class. Otherwise, they will have difficult time. See, people uh, know me in this uh, BHU that my uh, test, etc. generally becomes tough. It is not that easy. So without doing any classes, you're not able to pass. Anyhow, so let me uh, stop this class.